Welcome to our line, the large line. The new year is here and we celebrated the New Year's Eve with new friends that we made since we moved here. This day in particular was very good of making plans and one of the things we needed after the electrical is the installation but at this point we didn't know what's gonna be ahead of us on january 2nd everything go back to normal we needed to start working for our house and the one thing we need right now is the installation for that we had to travel to the larger bigger city to find what we need unfortunately the installation is out of stock we had to do a little bit of research for that. It smells so good in here. Before we moved, we got a lot of things that we thought we were gonna need. And this tent is one of them. We purchased it in action, thinking that was new, but actually it was a return purchase and whoever returned it didn't return everything. My husband did a miracle again. He used PVC pipes to replace the missing parts. This is the first Friday after New Year started. We had to travel because we could not find the rock wool insulation we need for our house. We tried to place the order with the building supply store in the faraway city yet the earliest delivery date was march 8 and that was an estimate i've been told that the manufacturer is out of stock then what i did i had to research to see where i can find it around us and i look at many states including nevada utah colorado arizona idaho washington Oregon, Wyoming, South Dakota, and North Dakota. I could not believe that it was nowhere to find. But luckily, the last place I looked into was Grand Forks, North Dakota. They had plenty, and I didn't think about anything else but getting ready to leave. First thing first was to rent a trailer and the second was to order and pay for what we needed and to top it all up the price was half of what we would have paid if we waited for March 8 delivery from our faraway local building supply store. Then it was a big bonus for us because we are supposed to pay close to $7,000 here in our states and actually we paid a little over three thousand dollars in north dakota we are really happy with the find it was nice to have a chance to drive through glacier national park it was not an easy drive for my husband but he made it we left on friday around 3 pm and we arrived there around 1 p.m. on Saturday. I don't have to say how good we slept in that Saturday night. It was that good that Sunday morning we woke up kind of late. We wanted to get a head start to return back to our place, but we have our limits too, like everybody. I just want to say that a lot of people saw us loading our installation on the trailer and everybody would say the same thing. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I know. It's not gonna be that fun.
<laughs> you look at this. <laughs> <laughs> we spent more than four hours to wrap everything, and because it was five degrees Fahrenheit, of course, our hairs catched ice. We are both funny, but we didn't feel cold because we were busy. Here at Los, I connected with a nice person. Her name is Andrea. He's a teacher. She's from North Dakota and she's doing her own sauna. Maybe she's gonna have a YouTube channel too. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. And now we got to know each other and we are good. It's fantastic. It's amazing learning about your larch line and you building a house all on your own. We're here in Grand Forks, North Dakota and they drove all the way from Montana to find their rock wool insulation. Yes. I only had to drive six miles from we East Grand Forks. We had to drive a thousand miles. <laughs> We're not kidding. It was tough. But hey, we found it here and we got to meet Andrea. That's so nice. Take care. We are ready to go back to our place. A thousand mile driving. Yeah, so it took us a couple so, of hours to cover and to load everything. And to secure everything and I hope it's perfect. I think I overdid it, but it's never overdoing anything when you transport. My hair is frozen and his face is frozen. That's okay, I like it. <laughs> and uh, we have uh, probably like 20 hours driving and it's it's really cold and winter and probably in a, in a glacier uh, is gonna be ugly. We will see. Hopefully, we're better. trying to get back by Wednesday yes. because Wednesday is even worse. Yes, Wednesday is supposed okay, to be. Okay, let's go in a car because you are shaking. <laughs> yeah, let's, go. You call. let's go. We made few stops along the way to make sure that everything is secured, and thankfully, we had no incidents, everything went fine. We are traveling back to our place, a thousand miles away from us. We went to pick up a uh, rock wall. We brought one with us in the cabin because we didn't have enough space. Still we needed five more. We needed five more, but we decided to let them back behind because we didn't have enough. We have a big uh, flat bag behind us. And we have a total of 70 of this back, R30 and R23. R uh, we got nature for us. 73. 73 we have 73. for us. Uh, big adventure. We had a lot of uh, heading to wrap them up and time everything to the public and to the truck too. And we have to drive home in time for a winter blizzard. We're expecting a week of blizzard on Wednesday. Today is Sunday and we left Friday. And we hope by tomorrow, Monday, or the least Tuesday, we are Monday, back home. Monday will be home. Yeah. And, uh, we're gonna have to be ready for the middle of the week when the weather is gonna go down to minus. 1,000 miles one way and now we're doing another 1,000 miles back way to find our rock wood insulation because we couldn't yeah, find it. Yeah, bring it home. Wait. We're having a we heat wave. A heat wave. <laughs> no. It's a tropical 
heat wave. We are back in our place the next day Monday at 1 p.m. Checking the package. <laughs> <laughs> We got to drive again through Glacier National Park. At this point, we are closer to our home, yet it's not over. We had to unload everything and then go back in the faraway city to return the flatbed truck. Welcome home, baby. Good job. You did great. I hope so. No, I did it. Uh, too much. Too much, yes. Now we have to unload everything. And we got a surprise. What surprise? Look. What? The leopard's nose. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was something else. <laughs> yeah, a lot of snow. This is our, our first real, real snow. Nice snow. We're not home to enjoy. No, we're not at home. Uh, I do it better if you go home. Inside in a trailer and do it. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your time. Please share, subscribe, and see us next time. Beautiful. <laughs>